I'm here in the driver's seat of the 2018 Accord EXL. I believe all the active cruise control and whatnot is standard on these cars. And I thought I'd just go ahead and demonstrate how well it works. Um, boy, I wish you could see my feet at the same time. So I'm not touching any pedals, I'm just steering the car at this point. Uh, if you can see the speedo there, the speedometer, you can see that we're just we're just tracking the car in front. This system so far has worked perfectly. I've only used it in daylight, um, I think, so far. But it's it's pretty awesome. So the way to activate this system, if you don't know, you first need to uh, go to your steering wheel, press cruise until you see those green indicators on the dash. Push it and everything goes away. See how that, right in the middle there, everything went away. Push it so everything's on. Okay. Now you need to, I'm not going to be able to do it now because we're stopped, but you can set the cruise control. You can't set the cruise control while you're stopped. You have to wait till we're going again. So once we're going again, then we'll be able to do something. I always turn on the uh, steering assist. That's the lane keep assist system, LKAS up in the middle there. As soon as we get going again, I'll be able to demonstrate this. Okay, so we're moving. I can hit set. We're set to 25 miles an hour. I've set a distance using this button here of how far I want to stay behind the car in front of me. You have four options uh, between super close and super far away. The speed limit here is 40, so it's no wonder people are pulling away from me at this point. There we go. I set the cruise control to 43 miles an hour using the resume plus button up here. And now I'm going to just pull my foot back so it's away from the pedal. And we're just going to let the car do what it does. Hopefully you can see the car in front of me. Um, I wish there was an indicator on dash that said, okay, you're braking now or you're speeding, accelerating now. There really isn't. And you know, that it really wouldn't be necessary, honestly. It's just a cool thing to see if you're the, the person in the driver's seat. So if you look at another feature there, the speedometer or the speed limit is posted on the screen. 55, cruise control set to 43, so we're a little under speed. So let's go ahead and set it up to uh, 60, because why not? Truthfully, we're not gonna ever go that fast in this section of road. Mm, might get close. Are. We're going uh, about 57. Car just moved over in front of us. Car is braking. Our car is braking. So that's how awesome this setup is. I see two cars ahead braking. The car in front of us is, I guess, okay, there we go. It has brake lights. They're braking. We're slowing down the 40. All this is happening automatically. Now this system works very well as long as you're just on a straight highway. As soon as it's time to get off the highway, which is what I'm about to do, you may run into some troubles because if you're not following a vehicle, well, it doesn't have anything to set the speed by. It's just gonna resume that whatever speed you set it to. So if for example, there was not a car in front of us, this thing would just try to shoot up to 60 right away. And that would not be ideal considering, uh, well, I know what happens at the bottom of the ramp and we don't wanna be going 60 into a traffic light or the sharp of a turn, especially in the rain. As long as you see that indicator in the middle there that looks like a car, that means that the system has found a car in front of you and is following that car. All right, we got a yield. We're going right up here, but I don't want to be that guy driving down the shoulder. We'll just stay in the lane. Okay, so that's an overview of how that system works. Now, anytime now I can hit resume, the car will try to shoot up to whatever the resume speed was, like a normal cruise control, with the exception that as soon as it sees a vehicle in the front, it'll match that vehicle speed. It'll actively hit the brakes to match the speed of that vehicle. Really cool.